good morning good afternoon uh good day good evening uh my name is alexander moroz and this video tutorial was recorded with moroz video capture little software that i developed that can record the video screen your display screen or certain areas of the screen it's it even can record the games while you're playing and you can check my channel to see more examples it's little a uh, nice little software that can record the screen perfectly for the purposes for you to make tutorials record games or record whatever you like whatever you see on the screen with a beautiful quality alright today I will explain to you how to um, get rid of this redness on the eyeball and the eye iris so what we're gonna do in Photoshop in the easy ways um, also we're gonna learn uh, the layers as you can see on the right over here all e everything in Photoshop based through the layers and if you know what is layers for if you have perfect understanding of the layers you will be a master in Photoshop so that's I'm gonna explain to you on uh, this tutorial today and I will try to get uh, the layers into your brain as fast as it gets so also we're gonna gain knowledge how to fix um, how to fix red eye bowl and Photoshop tools interface and other skills as I just showed you also we're gonna learn how to type you need to click on this T place it anywhere and type so we're gonna learn some Photoshop tools as you just learned an interface of the CS4 uh, CS3 and CS2 CS1 look a little bit different but this tutorial will apply to any version of the Photoshop starting from the 6 and ending today's CS4 and will go up because I'm gonna use today my morose uh, methods in Photoshop that will apply to any uh, Photoshop versions in the future and for you it doesn't require it, no skills it just let's assume that you're a beginner I will explain to you how to get to it so don't worry let's get started as again my name is Alexander Morose you can find this tutorial at this uh, channel just go and uh, browse for more videos from my channel on the Photoshop or um, visit alexandermorose.com for more information or just ask me so let's go ahead and get started as you can see I have my eye over here my little image and I just opened that and it's called main picture so what I'm gonna do let's say I wanna uh, draw something on it and we need to draw we need to draw something on it so let's draw let's say select the a brush uh, tool and foreground is white and start drawing all right as you can see over here as I'm drawing it appears over here and this is layer number or one and we're drawing on, on our image it means that if we don't want to have this white um, in the future there is no way for us to get back uh, so what we need to do here uh, we don't want to draw on this layer we want to draw on layer on top of it and if we don't like this we can disable that and still get our original image untouched and I'm always suggesting you to do that have as much layers as you can today memory is cheap and doesn't take that much memory space it's not like 40 megabytes hard drive that I started in 1994 it's more than 40 megabytes you got gigabytes now so to undo in Photoshop 
you need to click edit and undo and undo again step backward and it will undo it or to redo step forward or you can click Ctrl Alt and Z pressing it together once it will undo one time so what we're gonna do here we're gonna create the new layer and I suggest you uh, by pressing this little button little uh, clear paper list uh, over here icon it will create the layer over here and I'm suggesting you to name your layers so make sure you're in the layer layers over here instead of layer one just click on it double click on it and say we're gonna work on first on our eyeball and I'm gonna name it eyeball so I'm gonna know what's going on because we're gonna use some transparencies and white color and it's not gonna be easy to see for us so I suggest you to name it alright so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the zoom tool and double click on my image I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to have perfect uh, adjustments I'm not gonna make it perfect but close to OK you're gonna make it perfect and I'm gonna click on foreground color and I'm gonna select white click OK and then I'm gonna go to my brush tool and over here I can adjust the size and adjust how it's gonna look like and I wanna look something like this and size like 24 about like that and I'm gonna draw make sure your eyeball layer over here and whatever is selecting gear you're drawing on it so I'm drawing on my eyeball layer not on my image main picture and you know just draw on that eyeball I'm gonna do a perfect job I'm just gonna do something and you can spend more time for me just show you the key the concept my morose uh, retouching eye concept red eye retouching also I'm gonna do a software for this but it's probably gonna need to be free but not now now we're gonna go and study a little bit Photoshop so subscribe to my channel you're gonna learn a lot gain a lot of skills IT graphic design and other stuff I'm gonna teach you a lot so you know try to do it as close as possible as well as on this side so we're gonna retouch it on this one as well gonna close All right and now what we're gonna do we don't like this white color because if I'm gonna uh, click on my zoom tool and as you can see there is a plus over here you can use those little icons to switch between zoom in and zoom out plus and minus plus is zoom in and minus is zoom out and zoom out or you can uh, let's say you're in plus you can click you know, zoom in mode you can click alt button just hold it and click your mouse left mouse button once it will zoom in zoom out and release the alt it will still zoom in so alt zoom out and as you can see that white doesn't look natural so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna adjust that little fill on my eyeball layer I'm just gonna just gradiently transparency fill into the main picture and about 50 percent just because 50 yeah about that much just because I took the very red eyes on the eyeball it doesn't do a very good job but it's still looking natural but you can click on eyeball layer you can adjust the way you want it you know just like that like this I think it's too much but you can leave it like that about like this like 61 still natural color look like um, adjust the way you want it the way it's gonna seems to, to you as natural and by clicking this little eye 